Hello, I'm Jeff Golightly. I'm the executive director of the Jackson Hole Chamber of Commerce and your 14th speed date. Um, I, I joined the chamber here about uh, four months ago and um, uh, when I arrived I found a strong functioning organization, has an engaged board, uh, solid staff. Um, really uh, very lucky to have entered an organization that was as strong as it is. So we're prepared to face the challenges of the future uh, instead of having an organization that needs any fixing, which is a great position to be in. So in light of this, when Jonathan asked me what's the one big thing that keeps me up at night, you know, I thought it was, you know, don't screw it up. You know, you got to <laughs> make sure you nurture what's there. But we're tinkerers. There's some changes, things we want to do, some things we want to grow, areas we want to develop out. And in trying to whittle down to one, there's three, I've, I've whittled down to three, two of them I'm going to spend 10 seconds on. One, we want to strengthen our ability to advocate and cooperate with officials and key stakeholders um, on behalf of our member businesses that represent a lion's share, the majority of the uh, lodging tax and sales tax that is uh, uh, brought to the community. And second, we want to discover and nurture partnerships with organizations like the Imagine Jackson and Table 14s of the world that are looking for new types of industries to bring into Jackson. But if there's one takeaway that I want to bring up, it's that we want to strengthen and separate our membership services from our tourism development arms. Uh, it's developing a CVB, or Convention and Visitors Bureau. Um, many progressive destinations our size have fully functioning Convention and Visitors Bureaus. Uh, that drive tourism business to uh, destinations, and we're going to embark on doing the same. Um, separating these two arms are going to accomplish two goals. First, it'll allow us to maintain our focus and commitment to the membership services. Uh, but secondly, it'll allow more options to create funding sources for the Convention and Visitors Bureau, working with organizations like the Travel and Tourism Board. Uh, once it's fully developed, the benefit of the CVB will be to lengthen the peak seasons so that we can uh, have multiple benefits. Uh, obviously, we're going to have much more revenue for direct tours and businesses, but also hopefully we'll be able to replace a lot of the transient workforce, the seasonal workforce, with a workforce that will be able to sustain living here for longer uh, periods of time because uh, the, the tourism season will extend out. Another advantage um, of these year-round residents become invested in the community. They become uh, customers of the non-tourism businesses. And finally, um, introducing more people to Jackson. I think most people that I meet that aren't from Jackson originally found us because you were a tourist first. And whether or not you are in the tourism industry, you found us that way. So we need to continue to grow and nurture and fulfill that. And maybe those folks will end up joining us at a future conversation in this room. Thanks for your time.